Hey guys, so today we will discuss about the Lavalier's theorem. What is the Lavalier's theorem? According to the Lavalier's theorem and the second dimension volume, first and second, I will consider first and second volume are the same or the two and dimension occupied by the system of by bunch of point does not change with the time through its shape. So I draw a Lavalier's theorem and two सिस्टम दिस इज द फर्स्ट सिस्टम एंड दिस इज टू सिस्टम दिस इज कोऑर्डिनेट इसके क्या कोऑर्डिनेट हो जाएंगे पी के टी वन क्यू के टी टू एंड नेक्स्ट विल बी पी के टी टू एंड क्यू के टी टू ओके सो दिस ग्राफ इज डिनोट दैट द रो एंड द क्यू डायमेंशन सो स्टेटमेंट सेकेंड इज नंबर ऑफ द पॉइंट पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द फेज स्पेस इज द डेंसिटी रो रिमेंस कॉन्स्टेंट विद द टाइम दैट इज डेल रो अपॉन डेल टी इज इक्व टू जीरो सो रो इज कॉन्स्टेंट नेक्स्ट सेकेंड इज डेट एस कंसिडर ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द आइडेंटिकली मैकेनिकल सिस्टम इज ए स्लाइटली डिफरेंट वैल्यू ऑफ ए कोऑर्डिनेट क्यू के एंड पी के क्यू के एंड पी के इज द लेवलीज वॉल्यूम एंड दिस इज द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ दीज टू वॉल्यूम्स सो नेक्स्ट विल बी दिस इज द कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई ए पॉइंट इन द फेज स्पेस ऑल दीज सिस्टम कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई द पंच ऑफ पॉइंट इन द फेज स्पेस सो वट इज फेज स्पेस फेज स्पेस इज दैट कि वी कैन कंसिडर क्यू एंड डेंसिटी रो इन विच वॉल्यूम वन एंड टू एंड दैट स्टेटमेंट इज नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम in phase space that is called the density okay remains constant so constant mean del rho upon del t is equals to 0 so rho will be constant next i draw a plot a b c and d this is the square shape and coordinate will be q p q dot p plus t p q plus del q p plus d p Q plus D Q and P. So this is the point P dash, and this is Q. Next, I will represent this theory also. So the density of the representing point of the P minus Q phase space there is very very large amount of the row. Row is number of the point per unit area. Okay. So A is the speed with which represented point. Enters the element A B C D through A B, A B is through Q dot. Then number of representative point entering through A B per unit time each. Row Q dot and D P. So the number of the point learning through C D is given. So this is the equation is very very important. So row Q dot D P plus del del Q row Q dot D Q D P. So since The number of the point which remains in the element A B C D is P Q D T P minus rho Q D T P minus oh sorry plus del upon del Q rho Q D T Q D P. So I will be differentiate in such a equation. So I will differentiate so minus del upon del Q rho Q dot del Q and del P. This is the equation number first. So similarly, the equation first number of the representative point of which is entering. Entering point is A D. A D will be rho P dot and D Q. And the number of point leaving through, leaving through is B C. So rho P dot plus del upon del P, rho P dot D P, del Q. Hence the number of the remaining in the element A B C D is rho P dot D Q minus. Rho p dot plus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q. This is the differentiate of the equation first. Okay. So next is q dot q dot p dot d q plus sorry minus q, uh, rho p dot d q minus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q. So this will be can uh, cancel out because this is the same quantity rho p dot d q and rho p dot d q. Okay, this will be cancel out. So I get only this term minus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q. Okay, now now adding equation first and second. First and second, what is it? Minus del upon del q rho q dot d q d p. This is the first equation, and second will be minus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q. Okay, 
now adding equation first and second we get the increasing the representative point per unit time in the element okay a b c d is that minus del upon del q rho p dot d q d p minus del upon del p q p dot d p d q this is the adding i am equation first and second okay because minus sign will be uh, denoted that the there will also minus okay so this will be minus so minus is common out minus common area this is the bracket del upon del q rho q dot plus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q therefore we must have del rho upon del t d p d q is equals to minus del upon del q rho q dot plus del upon del p rho p dot d p d q so then next del rho upon del t plus del upon del q rho q dot i will be डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट इक्वेशन ओके और कुछ भी नहीं है डिफ्रेंशिएट किया है यहाँ पे प्लस डेल अपॉन डेल पी रो पी डोट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो ठीक है ऐसे ही डिफ्रेंशिएट आगे वाला करेंगे जिससे इक्वेशन फोर्थ बनेगी दिस इज द इक्वेशन नंबर फोर्थ सो नाउ हेमिल्टोनियन इक्वेशन आर वी नो देट द क्यू डोट इज इक्वल्स टू डेल एच अपॉन डेल पी एंड पी डोट इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस डेल एच अपॉन डेल क्यू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी clearly know that the p dot and q dot so next del q dot upon del q is equals to del square h upon del q del p and del p dot upon del p is equals to minus del square h upon del p del q for we can write we can write guys del q dot upon del q is equals to minus del p dot upon del p this is the equation number 5 so using equation 5 and in Four, we get del rho upon del t plus del rho upon del q q dot plus del rho upon del p p dot is equal to zero. This is the equation number six. This is the simple because I am only differentiate that equation. Next, but we know that the rho is equal to rho p q t. This is the coordinate of rho p q t because this is the dependent of p q and time t and its total time derivative is del rho is equal to del rho upon del p d p plus del rho upon del q d q plus del rho upon del t d t. So del rho upon del t is equal to del rho upon del p d p upon d t plus del rho upon del q d q upon d t. We differentiate with time t. Okay. So plus yeah, del t del t cancel out so del rho upon del t del rho upon del t is equal to del p upon del p p dot plus del rho upon del q is equal to uh, q dot plus del rho upon del t this is the equation number seven so from equation seven and six then del rho upon del t is equal to zero or rho is equal to constant second part I will consider the second part. It's a easily defined this equation. So we know that the del n is equal to rho d v plus d by d t. Del n is equal to d upon d t rho v. So d by d t. So d by d t del n is equal to del rho upon del t del v plus rho d upon d t del v. This is also zero. Del rho upon del rho upon dt is equal to zero because del rho is equal to constant. So, its ka differentiate also zero. Okay. So, d upon dt del n is equal to zero because system cannot be destroyed and created and form part first. So, del rho upon del t is equal to zero. Here, for the above equation becomes as rho d upon dt del v is equal to zero, but rho not equal to zero. That is very most important. Rho not equals to zero because this is the constant point. Okay, so d upon dt del v is equals to zero and del v is equals to constant. This is the very very important for you guys. So Lebesgue theorem is particular this based on del rho is equals to constant. Thank you so much.